What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be reviewing the classic game It from the Pit. This big game came out in 1992 for Milton Bradley and it is for two to four players. Uh, now this is another one of Milton Bradley's big boxed games as you can tell. And the object of this game is you are going to try to get one of your four explorers to the treasure chest. Um, you're going to be going around on a circular 3D board to try to get there. Now you're going to have to face an obstacle called It from the Pit, which is a motorized monster that has a really big claw that is going to be trying to grab at you and take you into his lair. So so let's show you it from the pit. Okay everybody, let's go ahead and show you this game. Right here we have a 3D board of the pit. And uh, they did some pretty cool little design work in here in the middle here. You can see some uh, skulls and some bones and just a real jungle type theme going on uh, with this game over here. And in the pit, you're going to go ahead and set it. Uh, which is a monster that has a big claw and it's just going to simply set him here in the middle like this. Um, now here's a really cool thing. Um, it is going to be trying to grab you with its claw and if he grabs you he's going to uh, drag you into this little cavern over here. But this is actually a place where you can store your pieces as well which is really cool. So anyway, here are all the pieces. You're going to have four different explorers, and there's four different colors, and each of the explorers actually looks different. There's, they have different poses. Um, and then here is the treasure chest that you are going to be trying to get to, and you're going to place the treasure chest right over here. And you also have a die that you're going to be rolling to move. Now everybody is going to go ahead, and let's just say we have a four-player game going on. They're going to go ahead and start right here in this base camp. There's four different sections. There's this one, there's this one, there's this one, and there's this one. Now there's two different types of paths. You have the dangerous path, which is basically around uh, the edge of where it is, and then you have this little path over here that will keep you safer, but it will take you longer to get around the board. Now, if you're able to get to another one of these sections, say over here, and let's just say it happens to grab your explorer, you're going to go ahead and place another one of your four explorers over here in the base of the area where you got eaten, I guess you can say. So if you got eaten over here, you'll place one here. If you got eaten over here, you'll place one here, etc. Um, now, whenever you make your way to the round to where the treasure chest is, you're going to be going around this way to try to get it, and you have to roll a die by exact count in order to get here. So if you happen to have an explorer over here, you're going to need a two, and that is how you're going to go ahead and win the game. So let's kind of show you how this works. Let's just say we got a character here, a character here, a character here, and a character over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and uh, just kind of show you how it works. So you hit this button, and there he goes. So, and another thing too, if he ends up moving you, you can just simply move your character back to where he was. So this guy goes three, let's say he goes there. White rolls, he rolls a six, let's say he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. It is now Orange's turn, so one, two, three, four. And let's go and, let's say blue goes, he goes two, he rolls a two. Now here's what it looks like if somebody eats you. There you go, perfect example. So what's gonna happen in this case is you're gonna go ahead and put another explorer into the base camp of the section he got eaten in. And anyway, the game is gonna continue going on like this until somebody is able to land on the treasure chest, and whoever lands on the treasure chest is gonna win the game. And that folks is it from the pit. So my final thoughts on it from the pit. Well, this is a game that I had uh, had my eye on for a little while, and my friend Matt told me about it, and this is another one of those games that he really likes a lot. Problem is, this game is really, really, really hard to find. Uh, eBay is usually where I get my games, and copies of this don't show up very often. Most of the time, they're going to be parts copies. Uh, complete copies are going to sell for around $150. Um, what I did is I went on a board game geek, and I asked somebody who had this game available for trade if he'd be willing to sell it, and he said that he would. Um, and then I found another guy on a Facebook uh, game page that had a copy as well, and uh, he had the uh, parts uh, that I needed for the other one. So I ended up buying two incomplete copies to make this copy, and I spent about 90 bucks total, which is a really good deal if you think about it. Um, as far as this game goes, this game is a blast to play. Uh, this game goes by very, very fast, and uh, it's just... <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Now, when you're rolling the dice and you're trying to move your player, you obviously have the choice if you want to go the safe route or if you want to go the more dangerous route. Uh, I like that idea. Um, and a lot of times it is just going to be knocking you around and you're going to be having a lot of close calls. And sometimes you're going to be really close to the treasure chest and it isn't going to grab you and take you in. And you're going to be like, ah! Uh, this game is fast and it's furious and it's fun. Very simple to learn. Um, and adults can certainly enjoy this game. Uh, definitely kids can enjoy it as well. As far as trying to get this game, I would simply suggest trying to do what I would did and just start asking around and seeing if you can find a 
a copy. Um, and usually, you're, and I figure you're probably going to have to end up combining two copies to make one unless you're willing to spend $150 to get a complete copy, which on occasion will show up on eBay, but not very often. Uh, but definitely a game you may want to consider getting. Would I recommend this game? Heck yes, I would recommend this game. Uh, the main problem, obviously, is just trying to get a complete copy. Uh, but it can be done. So um, anyway, guys, that's my review of It From The Pit. Y'all take care. Keep on gaming. We'll see you soon.